can I remove the heat? Suppose that you are in, 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 your, in this moment, in your office, in your apartment, in this room, in the room that you are over there. And try to think that you need to design an element that uh, remove the heat from that room to outside and introduce air, fresh air. Ay, ay, ay. How is possible that situation? is the compressor and uh, I am going to connect pipes in one side pipes in one side and the pipes continue here and the pipes create an other serpentine in the other side over there okay and I am going to introduce inside of this element I am going to locate a couple of fittings over there to introduce the refrigerant, the fluid that I explained before with, with the ability to absorb and release heat. Let me explain something, what happened. In this moment that the pressure and the temperature reduced dramatically, in this pipe, in this pipe, in the pipe with, with, with a smaller diameter, the temperature of, 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 the, of the pipe externally is practically frozen. You see, like, it's a little amount of ice around that pipe. What happens if this pipe is practically frozen, if I put here, if I put here a fan, electric fan, and I am here? I am here and this fan circulates the air at ambient temperature, for example, 80, 85 degrees Fahrenheit and the air passes through the pipes practically frozen. What happened with the air in the other side? The air in the other side is too cold. In this moment, the refrigerant is liquid and become vapor. What is the name of that element? What is the name of that element? Is, is the evaporator, evaporator, evaporator. Because the liquid passed to vapor and is located inside, inside of your home or in the cabin of your car or in the cabin of your airplane is inside. Ah, and what happened here? Ah, the refrigerant passed from vapor to liquid, from gas to liquid. What is the name of that process? According with this, from gas to liquid is condensation. Ah, this is the name of this element is the condenser. I am going to introduce a big pipe. And the big pipe the big pipe have salt water. Let me explain what is the meaning of that. The salt water, the salt water is coming, the salt water is coming from a pump. And the pump, and the pump sucks on the water, sucks on the water. This is the strainer. and the strainer from the sick cock and the sick cock suction the water the water pass through the filter the, the raw water with the impeller suction the raw water the raw water pass around the pipes 
around the pipes with the refrigerant. The refrigerant is the red, and outside you have salt water coming out. This is the compressor, and this is the element that is located in the engine room of your boat. This is the compressor, and in the compressor receives the refrigerant vapor, low pressure and low temperature, and send the refrigerant out with high pressure and high temperature. If you remember in the previous, in the previous example, I said that you can introduce the refrigerant through this port at the input of the compressor, and uh, the refrigerant normally at ambient temperature is vapor. The refrigerant is coming from the cylinder. Remember, we have high pressure, high temperature here, and we have low pressure, low temperature over there. I am going to explain later in the next coming episode the procedure to check those pressures uh, in order to verify if the system is working properly. Perfect.